Lowndes County is home to over 5,000 small businesses. They're run by and employ many of our neighbors here. And after a stormy few months, many are bouncing back. We'll be going to different um, places, just small little pop-ups here, there and yonder. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighborhood news reporter here in Valdosta, and I'm speaking with some of our small businesses about how they've been recovering since Hurricane Helene. Audrey Rogers has owned pinstripes and polka dots in our neighboring community of Lake Park for the last 17 years. First we were just gifts and accessories and then we became uh, more boutique-ish items. Um, so we now do clothes and sell accessories and gifts. Hurricane Helene caused a large sign to fall through pinstripes and polka dots plaza. Since Audrey doesn't know when repairs will be completed, she has taken her business on the road through pop-up shops. I want my store back, to be honest. I love seeing my people, um, just them coming in and hanging out, sitting on the couch with us, and I'm not getting that right now. While nearly 2,000 structures across Valdosta received damage due to extreme weather, many of our shops are back in business. To help them recover, County Information Officer Megan Barwick tells me the Board of Commissioners are encouraging neighbors to shop local for Small Business Week. They give back. That money um, is then turned around and spent into our community, and um, it just um, helps with the economic vitality. Of to which Audrey says she hopes the extra shoppers will help her get her building and regulars back faster. These people have become family to us and we have just been so blessed by that. For every dollar spent at a local small business, 68 cents of that dollar goes back to our local economy. Something to think about for your next shopping trip. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas reporting for ABC 27.